Hey everyone and welcome back to the Dilettante's Dollhouse. So in today's episode I'm going to be working on the roof of my dollhouse. So you might have watched me already take apart the interior of the dollhouse. Um, I still have some more to do in that but I was really excited to get going on the roof. So there's a couple of different projects that I want to do. I don't know how much I'm going to get to in today's video, but I'm excited to get started on the roof because I had an idea of using cereal boxes to make the shingles for the roof. So I'm going to show you how I'm making those so that you can adapt them to your own project if that's something that you wanted to do. And then we'll get together um, working on the actual um, putting of the shingles onto the dollhouse. So why don't we get started? Okay, so what I have done to make my shingles is I have taken my cardboard, um, in my case I'm using cereal boxes, and oh, let me just zoom you out a little bit here. I'm using cereal boxes and what I've done is I've cut off the flaps and the sides, so I'm just working with the front and the back of the cereal box just to keep it all a little bit more uniform. You don't have you know, the jagged pieces that are a little bit more worn. And I have cut my strips in um, one and three quarter inch deep. And I'll put the measurements for centimeters in the description um, below. But you have, so I'm making this one and three quarter inches deep by the length of the cereal box. And then what I'm doing is I am taking my ruler and I am marking from the top here a quarter inch. On the end, I'm doing it roughly in the middle. And then on the end here, and then I'm just connecting those lines, or those marks really. Okay, and then on the other side of that, I'm using my ruler, you could use your cutting mat here, but I'm just using my, my cutting mat to keep it somewhat even. And then I'm putting a line every three quarters of an inch. And again, um, I'll put the uh, metric measurements uh, below. So we're gonna do this every three quarters of an inch. And then that, those little marks that I made, I am just joining those to the horizontal line that I drew. So I'm gonna do that all the way down. Okay. So now this horizontal line is gonna serve two purposes and I have some already uh, made here, but what it's gonna do is it's going to be my guide as I cut to know where to stop because I'm gonna do these as strips, not individual shingles. So this one here that's not quite the full size, I'm just cutting that one off. And then I'm gonna cut each shingle up to that line. So I'm cutting on the vertical line just up to the horizontal there. I was really happy to think of this idea, and I, I'm not the only person who's ever thought of it, but it, the idea came to me because um, I'm on a no spend challenge, and if you read my blog, you know, might have read it, and so I was trying to think how I'm gonna do roof shingles, because I really wanted shingles on my dollhouse roof. It didn't have it originally. And then I thought, ooh, and I love this because it's using something that is normally, you know, I mean, it can be recycled, of course, but it, it's normally something that's just being disposed of, so I love the idea of using that. So what this horizontal line is, it was my guide for cutting, and then I have another one I made here, and it's also going to be my glue line, and hang on, I was staggering them somewhere. How was I staggering? Yeah. But it shows me where to line up the next shingle when I'm putting it on the roof, so that they're evenly spaced, if that makes sense. So that's good. Okay, so I'm starting on the bottom here, and I'm gonna glue on my first shingle. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna line up the bottom of the shingles with the bottom of the roof. And I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue.
then for the piece here, I just want to make sure I'm coming down to the edge, but I don't want to be overhanging it because I feel like then they'll, it's just going to be a catching point for them. And then I'm just going to do my next piece right across and just butt that up as best I can. <laughs> the measurements for the ridge vent is I took my tape measure and I just measured from the front all the way to the back of my dollhouse and for me that is 13 and 3 eighths and <laughs> the challenging part was to find a cereal box that was that big and I didn't think I had one and then I found so if this helps you <laughs> <laughs> if you happen to need a long one, or you could just use another long piece of chipboard. I didn't really want any bends or folds in mine because I wanted it to sit nice and flush. So that's why I'm using that. And then I just kind of eyeballed where I'd like it to sit. And I'm going to do two inches around here. And then I will just crease it right in the center. So I'll bring you down to the table and show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so I have my cardboard now, and hopefully I cut it straight enough because it was just the size I needed, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in a little bit from the edge because I know it's not perfectly straight there. And how am I going to do this? Now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start, I don't know if you can see on here, there's a bit of a, a ridge, that's where the fold was in the box. So I'm going to use that as kind of my straight edge. can see here. I'm going to use that as my straight edge. And then I'm just going to mark, because I don't have a guillotine or anything that's big enough. Um, actually, I'm going to use that pencil. It's water soluble. I mean, I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, but. Um, and I'm just going to make a few marks here so I can draw a straight line to cut on with my scissors. I'm coming just to the side of my marks. Probably would have made more sense to do this on the other side, but um, so that I don't have to worry about pen marks. So just just something to keep in uh, keep in mind. I'm going to be going over this with a gray, so I think it'll be fine. But something you might want to consider if you're doing this. And I'm just let me zoom you out just a bit here. And um, I'm going to cut as best I can along this line.
And I think I'm gonna trim just that bump off. So it might end up being a bit less than two inches, but I'm not too worried about that. I just wanted to make sure it was gonna go the whole length of the roof. I guess that's the depth of the roof. Um, okay. And then, so this should be two inches wide. Yep, pretty close. Fairly close. So I'm going to come in one inch and mark. And I'm going to do that here. And, there. and then I'm just going to connect that. And pencil would be better, but mine have all gone missing. So we'll make do with this. So what I'm going to do is line this up here and it is a tad shy on each edge, very minuscule, like I don't think it's even an eighth of an inch. So I'm not too worried because I am going to put some wood here and I think that'll be fine. So I'm going to bring this line up to the edge and use that as my guide to sort of okay. and now that I kind of have a <laughs> so now I've started the crease here a little bit if you can see you can see I've started the crease so now I'm going to bring it to the table and make it neater so this is a bone folder I use it a lot with my journal making if you don't have this, I've used, oh gosh, anything that you can kind of get a nice straight edge with. Um, but it just helps crease everything and you get rid of the wrinkles that way. And I can see I'm going off a little bit there. The nice thing about, you know, I'm using a cereal box so I don't feel like I'm wasting material if I, if I mess anything up. I'm not out a lot. And a lot of the, I was looking at um, purchasing roof shingles and a lot of the ones I saw were cardboard so I thought, well, it's, I mean they might be a thicker cardboard or you know higher quality cardboard. But I thought, you know, especially since this is my first project. It's a great way to learn with materials that I don't feel like I have to be upset if I <laughs> just spent, you know, money on purchasing something and then I ruin it. Yeah, so I think this is ready. They have a nice peak there. So I am down to a tiny little brush. I have a tiny little brush here, um, which is not ideal. That's what I have to work with, and I'm just going to apply it to the inside here. And it would have been very sensible to test this out first, but we're gonna we're gonna go with it and see what happens. But do as I say, not as I do. It would be much more sensible to <laughs> have tried it on first. I just I get very excited at this part, and uh, it's exciting to me to start seeing things come together. So, okay, let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just all fit. I'll bring you in for a closer look, but I think that's looking really good. I am really happy because I'll tell you, I just, this was an idea I just sat and thought about 
and thought about and thought about and I was not sure how it was going to work out and it is looking fantastic. All right, let me bring you in and you can have a bit of a closer look. So this is the roof. You can see the ridge vent here and it met up really well. I'm going to put a piece of finishing um, trim, that's the word I'm looking for, uh, along the front here. So that'll clean that up and then you have over here, I think it looks really well, good as well. I'm really happy with how this, not bad for cereal boxes. So we'll see how it paints. That's going to be the next thing. All right, so that is it for the dollhouse roof and for this episode. So in the next episode, I'm going to be tackling painting the roof, and then I'm also going to be working on spackling the facade of the house. So that should be a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having so much fun making this dollhouse. And again, thank you all so much for the wonderful comments. This is such an amazing community. I'm so glad that I decided to start sharing this journey on here. So thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you all again next week. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.